Hey, it's John Rochelle, resident font scientist at Comic Craft and Swell Type. And this is tips for lettering comic books in Procreate. So we've got our text in place, let's draw some balloons. I'm gonna show you two methods of drawing balloons in Procreate. And since there's no vector drawing tools like there are in Illustrator, we're gonna to have to draw them by hand. And this kind of takes us back to the pen lettering days with the added advantage of a couple of tools which will help uh, make your lines more consistent and of course, undo, which pen letterers only wish they had. So the first thing we'll need to do is create a brush. So create a new layer for drawing on. Then I'm gonna to go to the brushes and create a new brush. I'm gonna turn up the streamline, which is basically how much it smooths your line. A little bit is helpful, too much kind of takes, takes all the life out of it. So put it somewhere in there. And then turn up the jitter, which is what gives it just a little bit of ink texture as if it's ink on paper. And a little of this goes a long way, but you can experiment um, with how much you like and how much suits the artwork and the font you're using. And then the last thing I like to set is in the shape. Scroll down to the bottom here and give it a little bit of thick thin. And you can kind of just rotate and control how much thick thin you get. Again, this is probably gonna be something that you wanna match up to the font you're using and as well as the art style. And when you're ready, hit done. And you can always come back and adjust it later. Now let's zoom in and draw a couple of lines <laughs> next to our text. It's obviously way too big, so over on the left here, we can take our brush size down. And basically you want a line that's gonna be somewhere in the range of the lettering itself, because if you were lettering this with, a, with an actual pen, you know, you'd be using one of your lettering pens to draw the balloon. So get to something that's kind of right in between the width of the thick and thin letters. So now that I've got my brush tool dialed in, I'm gonna use it to draw kind of a roughly squarish round balloon shape. Not bad. If I don't like it, I can double tap to undo, draw it again. Let's give it one more try. That's pretty nice. And if I like the shape, but the size isn't quite right, I can go to the selection tool here, just draw a selection around it, then click on the actions, and you can just grab the handles and scale it out a bit. And you basically want to have about one letter, maybe a half, at least a half a letter between any text and the edge of the balloon. And obviously you can go bigger if that's the look you're going for, um, and you can go tighter. Just be consistent throughout the comic, pick a style and stick with it. And the second way to draw them is using the same brush tool. I'm gonna to draw my balloon, but at the very end, I'm gonna click and hold and it will snap into a perfect ellipse. Now, before you do anything else, you can click edit shape and it gives you handles, which treat the shape a little bit like a vector. So it gives you nice control over the size and the shape. And you can even rotate it if you wanna create kind of a angled ellipse look. And then once you click off, it's pixels just like anything else. So the way to further adjust it would be to get the selection tool, draw around it, hit actions, and then you can scale it how you want it. Now, since these are pixels, if you scale up too much, it's gonna make a stroke that's a lot thicker than the other strokes. And you're gonna lose the sharpness on the edges of the balloon. You can see as I zoom in, they're starting to get kind of fuzzy around the edges there. But I'll bring that back. And there we've got two balloon styles. And next up, we'll draw some tails. 